when we got to Stokes, um, one of the first classes that the students did, uh, they learned about what macroinvertebrates are in streams and in water that are used as indicators. Um, they learned that scientists actually will capture and look for these organisms to determine whether the stream is polluted or not. Um, then they went in these giant boots and had a wonderful time going through the streams, collecting all sorts of different organisms with nets, and uh, using some cards and some reference material to identify whether or not the streams there at Stokes were polluted. Um, and they, they determined that they were clean and fresh, and we'd like to use some of that knowledge back here to take some samples from around our area and their homes so that they can see how their environment, um, whether the streams are polluted or not, using macroinvertebrates and perhaps even putting some of these water samples under our microscopes here. Stokes, I learned about fish ecology and what type of fish live in their water, and I learned about uh, water ecology and about what type of bugs live in pure or impure water. Students uh, uh, pray outside here in the garden and finding connections uh, within the Cedar to connect to the environment. And as part of the year-long project of praying here in the garden each week, our students will then create their own environmental Cedar uh, based on the text and the liturgy and other poems and creative writings that they are in the process of writing during the year. reducing, reusing, and recycling. And we made up a song and a dance to go with it. We had the idea from our teacher, Ms. Biebergall, of um, making a song to what we have learned. And we got the song, What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction, because it had a very catchy tune.